Wagwan people and I'm back again. All right, everybody has a skill and everybody has a talent. I don't care what anybody says, right? 99.9% .9 of people are blessed with a skill or a talent. And because you're watching my show, you're one of those 99.9% .9 of people, right? Now, whether that be running, singing, dancing, or art, right? Public speaking, you name it, right? Everybody has some kind of skill or talent, right? And the best way to identify your skill or talent is remember when you were young, what did you do? What came to you naturally that you was good at? For me, it was being an entrepreneur, right? Do you ever remember that TV program, right? It was a children's cartoon on um, Disney Channel called uh, Recess. And there was a boy in it called TJ Detweiler, right? He was a money-making schemer, right? Every episode, he was coming up with a different way to make some money somehow, right? Well, I was slightly different to him, whereas I only had one way to make money, right? And that was selling Christmas drinks throughout my entire school life from basically the end of year seven until year, year 11, right? And basically, my friend Ethan, right? He was my best friend at the time, right? He awoken that entrepreneurial skill in me, right? He brought me a pack of jawbreakers, right? In the pack, there are five jawbreakers, right? You buy it for 20 pence and you get five in the pack, right? And he said to me, if you sell all of these for 10 pence each, you can make 50 pence, right? And therefore you have a 30 pence profit. And from that day, it clicked. Oh my God, I can make money. And I was just obsessed with it. And that's all I used to do throughout my school life to the point where I was so dedicated to it. Honestly, art, anyone who went to my school in my year, they would know me as I was the seller. I was, we used to call it shotting back in the day when I was the top shotter in my school, right? I had a few friends who you thought they could compete with me. And when they see this video, they're going to laugh, but they knew I was the ultimate top shotter because they used to kind of take breaks. They would do it for a bit. No, I was on it all day, every day. The only time I didn't sell is when um, I used to get caught for selling now and then, and then I had to kind of lay low and stay under the radar because the teachers were watching me and I was a different person. I felt so out of place, like I had no purpose. You know, most children's purpose in school is to learn. My purpose was not to learn. My purpose was to make money. Now, I've always been naturally a smart child, right? But I used my brain to make money. It was so bad. I had other children in different years. So if I was in year nine or year 10, for example, I had people in year eight selling for me in different playgrounds just so I can make more money, right? I actually got kicked out of school a week before study leave in May, right? Because I tried to escape from school to go to the local Sainsbury's so that I could buy more products. I think at the time it was like donuts and some drinks, right? So I can maximize sales and profits um, in the day, right? Like I was that hard on it. I, that's all I cared about doing. I was just so focused on my money. I had, I think I had about 1,500 when I was 15. Now that doesn't sound like a lot of money now, but imagine being 15 years old and having 1,500. And I never spent the money. I was always good with money, always saved my money, right? Even to the point, I was on holiday with my friend two years ago, right? We were leaving Dubai, right? And we had um, some extra money, obviously, that we had exchanged up. So we were using the Dubai currency. I can't remember what it's called, right? And I thought to myself, well, what's the point of bringing this money back to London and losing a bit during the exchange rate when I could buy bottles of water out there and bring it back and stick it in my vending machine? And that's exactly what I did, right? Because I am just naturally built like that. Like, I'm telling you, if I don't become a successful businessman, I would have failed because that is my destiny, right? So you just need to remember or to identify what your your skill is you need to kind of look back especially when you were younger what comes naturally to you right and for me it was being an entrepreneur right so if you like the video subscribe if you don't like the video change your station